not allowed to move around as freely as he was once before. Yeah, no, he has to work harder for sure. Oh, yeah. Especially with limit lasting only like what, 15 seconds now. It's on a it's on a timer, which that in itself is a big feature. Did he just pull out a stitch face? Yeah, you know how Link does. It's a casual. All right, it's yeah, another just, day in the office. <laughs> just, all right, we're we're gonna ignore this. <laughs> Hangman just like, oh, it's, 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 it's what's <laughs> Ling, Ling's RNG is off the charts. All the Northeast Peaches just casually love to pull Saturns and Stitches like it's their jobs. All right, but oh. great catch on the bear. Oh, that was so smart. Okay, and we do see Ralphie actually just trying to space out Ling Ling. Like... Peach has a lot of options that she doesn't have to commit too heavily towards, except for forward air when it comes to the airplay. But if you manage to whiff punish those, you're offsetting a ton of aerial control away from Peach. And when you force the Peach to use their movement options for the sake of getting themselves back instead of being able to, like, micro-space their way towards you, like, you're taking a lead by a wide margin. That's exactly what Ralphie's going to be doing here. Ooh, the back air, not going to do it just yet, but it is Cloud offstage. Oh. <laughs> the booty bump. Wow, makes it back. That is another step. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you said that so disappointingly, like, oh, God. <laughs> Don't think we're playing out here. These gardens are stacked. My man has the healthiest of yields. A right, great up tilt to cover the roll. Not, not, not following it with another up air. Right? I do like his usage of fading away with back air and forcing Ling Ling to kind of come to him. And that's one thing that Cloud does have P over Peach in this game still. He does have the range. He had to use that limit knowing that he had to, you know, it was going to go away anyway, so might as well pop it. It's just a hitbox that's going to linger in the air. And not a lot of characters have an option like that where they can continue to threaten Peach in her airspace. And Rafi's making really good decisions when it comes to at least trying to minimize the uh, the damage from where Ling Ling can move. Also, Cloud Hazard out of shield, the most lit option that Cloud has. Yeah. Fun drinking game for those. Oh at home. no! Oh yes! He's coming back. Rafi with the save of the gods. His up B works. But you know, you, <laughs> I thought he was gonna die. That's fair. And Ling Ling and catching no the jump, and he's putting it. Is that another face hangman? No. Okay. I was, I thought. I thought. No, this time I just made a dumb play on words. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, this isn't too bad of a situation for Ralphie to come back on. Like, ending out the stock while blinking Ling at the ledge is going to be super important, but, like, Ling Ling's always been able to weasel his way out of ledge pressure, regardless of the level of competition he faces. So it's not surprising to see him live to like that 160 to 180 range. Yeah, no. And it is because of his movement as well. Oh, it is because of his movement as well. You know, he uses those narr uh, those flow cancels so well, and it's so hard to catch him as to what he's going to do. Pressuring Rafi at the ledge. Rafi hitting with the beautiful back air, 99%. Charging limit just enough, and I do like that about Cloud. But now that you, if you charge it just, just enough, you know that limit's going to come out mid combo, and you can actually use that to your advantage. Oh, he's trying to get the spike on Super, super cheeky. It's just fair as a better spacing option nowadays. So, like, he's able to, to like, use it effectively. But speaking of oh, effective, no. let's see this recovery. Yo, the stall. Don't die. You'll die. Really? All right. Okay. All right. I'll land that climax. This is fun. But great down smash uh, from Ling Ling. Uh, he, what, he rolled? He, that's how he got caught? Ralphie? He tried a ledge option. Oh, okay, okay. Right, he tried a ledge option and he met the dress. Recovering with Cloud is also super important if you play the character because we noticed that Ra we saw how Ralphie actually stalled with that side B to to like say hey I'm gonna just let I'm gonna just stay in the air for a bit while Ling Ling throws out an option mi forcing him to miss time it and he did he was able to come back unfortunately Ling Ling caught the next option then which caused him to die but I don't think Ralphie should switch I think that he's doing really well with Cloud there you go I don't see him switching Ling Ling is super confident against Wolf. Uh, I don't feel like Trainer is going to be bringing anything particularly special to the table here. Like, Cloud is doing a great job of being able to anti air and wing. It's really just, Ralphie needs to find more confidence in how he's netting these kills. He's whipping his back airs, which I feel is giving Ling, like, key moments to breathe. And we haven't seen any other, like, haymaker options from him as far as, like, things to threaten kill with. He's building on the damage, but he just needs to do something with that. Yo, actually, yeah, yeah, man, you're, you're totally right. 
and you know we we have seen you know he has had limit a bunch of times but he hasn't been able to actually land the cross slash oh there we that go. was ballsy that was good though that was good though and but that's what i'm talking about like cloud is cloud can stay in the air a lot of characters that aren't peach and daisy can't do that so ralphie is taking full advantage of that feature of the character on top of having like safe uh hitboxes to throw out or at least Hitboxes with good distance, I should be more specific. Great cross slash! As soon as I say that he doesn't land one, he lands one. <laughs> I, I do like how he's pressuring Ling Ling right now at the, at, the, at the edge. Forcing him to come to him. Rafi knows, hey man, like, I'm just gonna build a limit again and you're, you're in kill percent, so. It's not like Cloud is a character that Ralphie forgot how to play. He's just moved on to... Look, you never forget your mate. Yeah, I'll tell you that, man. He moved on to greener pastures with a new game. But a lot of this matchup remains the same from the previous iteration of Smash. Oh! He wasn't coming back. Not with the... Yeah, I was, I, was, I was like, I'm like, do you think he could have made it back? Like, I, no, But I, I do like it. Try to take him down with him because, you know, yeah. then we'd be down 2-1. to one. And we, we, we would definitely take this one. As his, as his vegetable, not gonna do it just yet. The shield is getting mighty small right now. Nothing connecting. I like the spacing around Ling Ling. He's making sure to stay swift on his feet. Doesn't want to get caught out with anything out of shield. Although he is gonna miss his limit blade beam. And Ling is doing a great job of actually of like kind of like getting around the spacing that Ralphie is trying to. Ah! All right. So as I was saying, he just gets deleted <laughs> by that man. <laughs> he is doing a good a good job of closing in the space between him and Ralphie, and he knows his character's weaknesses. So he's playing to he's playing to her strengths and kind of just waiting for Ralphie to to kind of whiff that space option and then going in, which is super smart from Lindy. Oh my God! Barely dodging that blade beam. Yeah, Peach's vertical movement is just too swift for Blade Beam to really cover a lot of respectable space here. That's why I was liking the cross slash option, and part of me almost thinks that Ralphie should hold on to it to use Limit Climb Hazard, just for the sake of damage and, like, offsetting the stage play. Like, Blade Beam, it's good at occupying space. You're forcing Link to back up a little bit, but I feel like with good presence in mind, you could do that with something like back air or photo or there. All right, well, we're just going to throw it out as soon as we got it. Ralphie taking Ling Ling to game three. Now, Ralphie is, I, you know, in Smash 4, he definitely made a name for himself, hands down. You know, like, you knew who Ralphie was if you watched the New York scene at all. In this game, he did start off a bit slower, you know? Um, he wasn't as good as, as he was in Smash 4. Kind of had trouble finding, like, his, his footing, finding a new main, as everybody and their mother went through a character crisis in the game. But he is doing a lot better, and he's taking, he's taking a few more names, man. But if he beats Ling Ling, this is this is just a process in his solidification in the rankings of Smash Ultimate. Because Ling Ling did not miss a beat, man. That man is still as as dangerous as he was before. Oh, he's galactic chilling. This man's been getting really good placements at larger events. He just took Smash Adelphia a couple of weeks ago, and like his wins are no joke either. He cements himself as this, one of the best players uh, out of Connecticut, like. Whispers on the wind, some argue, like, the best player out of Connecticut, a region that's shared with light, mind you. So, like, this is not a slouch of a player by any means. However, it is a beatable player for Ralphie. Yeah, man, he's playing, he's playing very, very well. But, you know, keep in mind uh, that it was sort of like a pressured SD, I, like, I would like to call it, from Ralphie. Um, well, from Ling Ling, but because of the pressure that Ralphie put on him. So we're going to see what happens when that's not in play. Good parry. I feel like Kalos was a fantastic pick, all things considered, for this set, because yeah. we've seen that Ralphie's struggling to keep Ling at the ledge. So now, even more options for Ling Ling to come back. Yeah. And more especially, we've seen Ralphie struggle to net his kills. This wasn't as much of an issue towards the latter half of Game 2, where Ralphie was more willing to use his limit to just let it rip. Crosslight's going to do it. Ralphie taking the lead super, super early. Cloud's not really a light boy. So... The fact that he's only had 50, 54% is actually huge. Back at a cross slash, 33 on the board immediately. Yeah, Ralphie can't afford to let up this kind of pressure. No, and he's and he's putting he's putting it on very very well. But he has to be careful of giving Ling Ling stage presence because if he does, 
Oh, he has that option. <laughs> Cloud Hazard out of shield is so good, and I don't know why anyone who still plays Cloud doesn't do it more. It's like, like it's like his name. It's like what Nair out of shield is in this game, except that he has he has <laughs> the the Cloud Man like, has a version. Players have to understand that a character with a reliable out of shield option is good. Is so it's so important in Ultimate, like. You don't want someone swinging on your shield because there's so many moves that, like, you can make them pay for. So if you have a reliable option, with a hurt box especially, so you're not just getting out of the situation, you're making them pay some damage, taking advantage along the way, like, just do it. Speaking of making, speaking of making him pay, Ling Ling actually covering all of Ralphie's options right now as he, my man just brought it back hella quick. Trying to recover. Ralphie's facing with the back battle. All right, I like that. Just jumping away, uh, just jumping away from Ling Ling, force you know, kind of just resetting. He has a jump though. Oh, he has a jump, and Ling Ling knows this. Great option coverage. Wow. All right. Bounced all the way up, but still not killing. Good patience on the half of both players. And we're just sitting here in deep red numbers. Great Ralphie's adaptation on both halves. Like, oh, yeah, there, 100%. Like, Ralphie's learned that he needs to stay aggressive and he's figured out what options he can get away with. Meanwhile, Ling trying to figure out how to play around those aggressive options, stay alive. Yeah, but we see Ralphie take a sigh of relief as soon as he gets that second stock. Well, the, the, yeah, the second stock. Because he knows that this is going to put Ling Ling in a perilous situation. He's catching him air dodging out of his up tilt every single time. Ralph, Ling Ling at 71%. Ooh, the back end not gonna do it. Climb has it out of shield. Not gonna do it either. My man's got the first one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, yeah, I see that. Yeet. Doesn't matter if they nerfed it at 180. I promise you, you're dying if you're that close to the ledge. <laughs> For sure. This seems he Linley is in a bad spot right now because he can't afford to let Cloud get limit, but he's going to at least once. Great down smash option coverage by Ralphie. Wingling's on the ledge. He has. To, oh my god, that almost killed him. That didn't even have limit. Blame, gonna do it. Yeah, it's gonna make the and catch. And Ralphie taking it over Lingling. Ling. Really convincing <laughs> play. <laughs> really convincing play out the out the end there. Yeah, no, that was that was huge, man. That was huge. He 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 noticed that Ling. Ling what happened was that he noticed that Lingling Ling kept on air dodging after he got after he uh got up tilted by Ralphie. And he used that because that, that led into two combo strings that kind of just put him in enough percent to actually just keep him on the ledge. Great job by Ralphie, though. It's unfortunate for Ling Ling because in this game, um, two mistakes really do lead to your death. Because uh, one thing I want to point out that, that uh, I, f I think it was, it was Goffin that I was coming that I was commentating with last time. But he did say that the skill level gap in this game because of little... Uh, Things like, you know, how everything throws you into a tech situation, you know, uh, the movement style of this game. If you're good, it's going to show. If you're bad, it's going to show. If you're a good player facing a bad player, it's not like the last game where things were a bit like, you know, the bad players can kind of like get away with some cheese or something like that because of the game's rage mechanics. Here, no. Here it's right. like... So here's my counter argument to this. Oh, okay. All right. 